letter signed by Major Merlin. These were my orders. My mic was off the whole time. We just need your help to find her. He's been hiding since the failed coup. And you need help in the San Mateus barracks. You guys weren't hearing anything. I know him well. I just turned on my PS5. If he can help you, he will. It seems to me that the Ordo Luminous keeps his prisoners in the prisons of Anyway. In fact, if you want to avoid drawing too much attention to yourself. You could bring Herman there directly. I'll write you a letter for the corporal. Here you go. Thank you for doing this for me, Sieglinda. You're welcome. And don't forget your promise, Kurt. You heard it, Kurt. Don't forget. Anyways, hi guys. Skeldog here. And today, we are back with Greedfall. Goodbye. May the enlightened okay, now let's go talk to... This guy, who I don't think either of us should be seeing our faces to each other. Okay, that's a five. I thought that was like a helmet. Like I was saying, nice hat. What do you want now? Discuss Major Herman. Surprising reasonable. I sure I saw that coming. I'm sure she'll be happy to have it. That's not gonna help. Your lack of faith has already been proven in the past. I don't know why you even want to see it. You can tell that this regrettable incident is so judgment. It's True, I did send a messenger. Can't be a politician if you don't. I came to see you in particular because I know how much you value justice. And your religion. Political machinations have no hold over you. This man nearly plunged your entire city into chaos. Yet he got away with it with impunity. Only you can make sure he receives the punishment he deserves. It would seem that despite your past mistakes, you are sometimes rather prescient. A traitor of this kind shouldn't be able to get away with it. Thank you for being with me, Wolf.
So wait, is he always gonna be here? The Order of Luminous. Order of Luminous. Okay. It was founded by Saint Gregorius, one of the disciples of Saint Matthias, one of those who didn't accompany him on his journey. It seems that's true. Gregorius was chosen to be the guardian of Telemachy, keeper of the ah. spirits. Ah, that's starting to make sense. But you're kind of overstepping boundaries. Excuse me, sir. Yes. What can I do for you? Give thing thing in this letter. Commander Zieglander wrote this letter to you. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. Even though I never really liked the major, the commander is asking me to do all I can to assist you in your mission. So what can I do for you? We're looking for the major. We know that he was posted here. Yes, and officially he still is, but I haven't seen him for some time. Oh no. In the coup, he was probably expecting us to go after him. The only people he may have told about his hiding place are his lieutenants. Those two are his henchmen. I see. Well, yes, you don't, don't get to do very well here. If we bring him to you, can you make sure he ends up in an ordo luminous jail? Do you want to condemn him to the stake? That's a bit extreme. Listen. Nothing that will do. But you'll have to find a way to keep my men from seeing him. Why is that? All the guards in the city know the major. If they see him brought here, they'll want to know why. And they will surely take it out on the Inquisition, which could end badly. Oh yeah, that can be it. Oh, Corporal. What do you suggest? If you bring me some sleeping potions, I could put the whole lot of them to sleep. When they wake All right. up, they'll be ashamed of having slept through their watch. But that's better than spilling blood. I so agreed. Come see me when you have enough. Anything else? Oh, wait. Wait, what? So you need sleeping potions. Is that right? Exactly. Come see me when you have enough. Anything else? Okay. We should go. Goodbye. Yes. What can I do? Here you so go. Need sleeping potions. Yes, to put my men to sleep. That would seem the best way of doing it. Perfect. And then? When you have your man, let me know and I'll do the rest. Oh, hey. Right. Anything else? We should That's go. Eve. Goodbye. Now that everything is ready, we should go find these lieutenants. Indeed, let's go. This guy always seems to be the most busiest when I'm actually weak. Something. Speak to recruit. Supporting turret. Supporting turret. The rank of captain of the guard counts regardless of regiment soldiers. Yes. When the said captain reports directly to Commander Seaglin, if it's an order from the commander, we better obey, guys. And now.
Ask him about where Major Herman is hiding. Dagamon Kirk. Okay, care to talk now? Are you finally ready to tell us where we can find Herman? We'll never tell you anything. Stop. You might be ready to die for him, but I'm not. He's in a warehouse on the port. The traitor is probably getting ready to leave the island. What do you want to do with these two, Kurt? Lieutenants, you're under arrest for now. Go to the commander. She'll decide what to do with you. <sighs> At your orders, Captain. Let's find the Major before he escapes. Was I just mistaken? And just in case, because they're all going to a port or a warehouse. Not like their privacy. I'm just telling you to target. You've been defeated. Ghost camp are perfect. Wolf did well. Whatever. Don't quit. Resume recording. Go in, we gain some party members. Oh, switch out party members. Oh no. Petrius, what do you need?
Oh dear. Uh, and this is not dirtier. I mean, we need to talk to the captain of the outpost here. Hello, captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? The talk about the the Noya uh, eggs. Hey, Vega. Asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment, they kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Something just seems suspicious to me at this one. Could be bias. Maybe not. But something to me doesn't seem right with this. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. Oh my! Ask him about the goods. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the huh. attack Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the loot has started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. Hmm. And the precautions? precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. How about the attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. Surely, if they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them. But their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared of my Inflamed weapons? I thought the circumstances of the attack. Anything is gonna probably be helpful. I just hope we can negotiate with whoever it is behind this. How do you feel about that log? Was some distance from the road when it was attacked. I presume right that fight's going over over here. Called it. 
Now then. Was it okay? Nope, nothing seems off about these Hawthorns. See now. So close by camp. They use stone blades. Yeah, they didn't have any bodies, did they? The bodies might actually help us confirm what happened. The area for them. I think they might be up ahead. There. Can you see that ledge? I think that's a path. Uh, to the rebels. Oh, that could not be it. Oh, wait, bodies. And sorry, I had to scratch my ear for a moment. Oh, my God. Oh boy. Uh. And there we go. Okay, now let's check you in. Yep, that looks good. That's some good looking fungus. No, see now. I'm finished off from Merchant of Victoria's family.
We were very cautious. We even ate cold food food every night because our lighting is fire was too dangerous, yet being observed. He was in the caravan, hmm. but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Ectregal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. Okay, that's not good in our case. Like, okay, I just spoke loose at one moment. Not only that, but I wasted a lot of magic trying to hit that beast. And it wasn't even taking damage from the start of it. So I went in handcap. Why was he there? Oh yeah, they said. Well, I thought I had to check on something quickly. Oh, let's see what the rebels have some to say about this. Wait, ma'am, ma'am, don't. Oh boy. Yeah, there's no way I was going to sneak up on him. Oh. No! Oh! Nope, take care of her first. She's the one poisoning. And we we really didn't have to fight guys. Can we sneak past him? I think we do need to go, I need to go over there. Solid. I could be wondering why didn't I kill him? Would have been unnecessary. The guys at the ladder? That was actually necessary. What if I could have avoided them? Was there a way I could have avoided them? This is not going to look good for me. That's what I want to do. Let's be honest here, they also attacked us at first as well, but I do want to do the reasoning still. Hello, don't worry, I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. Boy, I'm the leader of this camp of the Knights of the And who waits for me? My name is the Sunday. I'm the legate of the Merchant of the Kitchen. 
Skarak. That's good. Not all of them were lines, though. Good. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We did not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted. Do we do? Oh, thank God. Attack him. Guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives. Oh, the budget line's not gonna like me. Now is the time of war. I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. Karans, do you need something? How she feels after the loss of her mother. Did we cover this already? Then we like those shoulder picks. I understand you. Where she has friends that could support her. Is this Patriots' shoulder or is it Ciara's shoulder? I'm here for you. That'll be all. See you later. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. The Donaya Exregal fought, as my mother did, to free our people from the lions. And now, they are ready for a great battle. I hope they will not end up like my clan. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Rainhold about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? <sighs> Tell what the end of the attack. Managed to trace the rebels who attack the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them. No, that's not necessary. 
but you must know that this group is part oh, of Oh, come on. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. You I didn't deny the captured comrades. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. I did not want to do that. Alright, now we can...